welcome to another episode of Capture the Magic. This week coming to you from Sadwana Bay in South Africa, which really feels like Adventureland, but with even better teaming. A few months ago, the Walt Disney Studios Park replaced Animagique with one of the best shows ever to grace the park, Mickey and the Magician. Mickey and Magic have been going together since the original Fantasia in 1940, and the new show takes quite a bit of inspiration from that. We also get help of several magical fans. Because of the illusions performed on stage, it's absolutely forbidden to use a flash to photograph the show. But here's a true magic secret. You should never use flash to photograph a show. The light on stage has been carefully mastered so you will have a great experience. And this also makes it easier to photograph. Since I didn't want to drag too much heavy lenses to the resort, I shot the entire show on an 85mm prime lens. This is a lens with a fixed focal length, so it cannot zoom in or out. Often these lenses are much more light sensitive and lighter to carry as well. Sometimes you do need to show the entire picture. So I had a second camera body laying next to me with a very wide angle lens. Framing a show, especially on a prime, is not the easiest thing. As you will want to make choices on what to include, but on also what not to include. Since you see that this makes it harder as you can't zoom. Fortunately, you can also crop your image afterwards as well. Shooting a show is all about anticipation. What is going to happen next? And where should your lens be pointed at? Let's take a look at the Lion King scenes with Rafiki. Performed by the amazing Nicole Raquel Dennis. We know Rafiki will appear on the stage near Mickey. And during that time, some animals appear on and around the stage. So during those scenes, don't only look at the stage, but also around you. A giraffe in gorgeous sunlight does not only look good in the African savannah, but also with the theater light in the Animagic Theatre. When you have the luck of shooting a show that is performed several times a day, it's easy to anticipate to what's going to happen after multiple viewings. Also important is know that theatrical light can change at a moment's notice. Like the finale scene of every animal bowing to Rafiki, a lot of white lights come on, so be sure to adjust your shutter speed accordingly. This is not the easiest thing to do, but you should be fine. That's it for today, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to tweet us or leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you. Got it? <laughs>